Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Today I've got a um, Christmas project for you using um, the um, Good Greeting stamp set which is um, our product of the month for October. This stamp set is available to anybody who places an order of more than £200 or um, hosts a party that um, raises earns more than £200 um, before the end of October and then you get this stamp set free and it's lovely. Um, there's a lovely selection of uh, words and phrases in this lovely type, um, lovely handwritten style font and it's gorgeous. So I was in my local craft supply store, very naughty of me I know, um, this morning and I spotted this and I thought it was really cute and it only cost me a pound so I thought oh I might as well and it's a little lovely little pocket and um, that says 10 things I love about Christmas and it's just really sweet with 10 little tags cute little tags with little details on and it's really sweet and I thought that's really lovely um, and it's not too bad it's only a pound but I could so easily do that myself it would be so simple so I bought it just to show you that, where my inspiration came from and I'm going to make one of my own so I've got a piece of um, cherry cobbler cardstock which measures uh, eight inches by four and a half and all the metric measurements will be on my blog if you check the the down bar below and it'll be down there so I've got a piece of cherry cobbler that measures eight by four and a half and then I've got um, a piece of very vanilla that's three and a half by three, um, sorry, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then ten strips, which measure five inches by um, three quarters of an inch across. And there's ten of those. So, first of all, let's make the little pocket. So, with our piece of cherry cobbler, we need the... Oh, sorry, I'm... I'm you might have noticed I've got a new camera set up today and I keep knocking the camera so if it wobbles a bit I am sorry. First of all we need our scoring tool. There we go. And we're going to measure on the, we're going to score on the, the short side first at half an inch and at four inches. And we're going to turn it around onto the long side and score on the long side at four and a half. And that's it. How super simple. Let's move that out of the way. So, the next thing is before I do all my score lines, I don't know if you were to see this actually, there's, we've got a sort of a long, if the score line isn't down the middle, it's to one side and we're going to cut off the thin strips of the long side. So, a pair of scissors, and ideally, um, sort of long pair of scissors would be good uh, for this, because you won't get wobbly lines, and I'll probably wobble all over the place now. I've said that, doing it with my short paper snips. Yes, I have. You could also, if you really want to be really precise about it, use your uh, paper trimmer. Let's cut. Oh. See, I've got all kinds of jaggedy edges going on. There we go. So I've cut the two long sides off, so then we've got that piece there like that. I'll cover back on my paper snips before I stab, stab myself. So next we're going to... Um, fold and burnish the sides really well. And I've lost my bow folder. So, fold in these little sides here and here. And then that folds back that way. Let's give us our little pocket. Now before we stick everything together, we're going to take the Project Life, Life by, oh I can't, I need to put my teeth back in, <laughs> my Pro Project Life by Stamping Up Corner Rounder. And I've actually found that with most punches I use them that way up, so I can see where my cardstock is. But with this one I tend to use it that way, I get a better, better, um, a better punch. I don't get 
um, I don't find myself getting funny saying that like like that can you see that where it's like got a jaggedy little oh that's still going to go jaggedy no who knows oh if you can hear that that's the cat outside the door she's desperate to come in and join me she's not overly keen about being shut out of places is Frida so we use some sticky strip we're going to put our sticky strip as close to the score line as possible on both of these short um, little flaps there we go and then just sticky string. I need to get some fast views. So and then just stick that straight down on there and then we've got our really sweet lovely little pocket. Okay, and then we've got our piece of very vanilla and if you look at the front of this one it says 10 things I love about Christmas. Now I'm going to use um, Obviously, I haven't got a pun, a stamp even, that says 10 things I love about Christmas. But I have got some stamps with those words in. So, first of all was is the Back to Basics alphabet. I love this alphabet. I just think it's so adorable. So I'm going to use that. That will give me the numbers and things and about. And then... I'm going to use the good greetings and I'm going to take Christmas from this stamp here and the I love from this stamp here to piece together our phrase. So I'm going to get on and do that and I'll meet you back here when I've done it. Okay, so I've stamped the 10 things I'm about and I've actually gold heat, and heat embossed the things and I just thought you would you don't want to sit and watch me um, stamping all those individually it's just a horrible thing to watch it's really dull so I've now I've but I thought I would show you how I'm going to just stamp the I love bit of this stamp and the Christmas bit of this one so as you can see I've left quite a big gap in the middle and that I love you stamp is only really little so I'm actually going to fill either edge with this snowman um, stamp which is from the white Christmas stamp set which I just think is these trees are just so lovely and that gorgeous banner that strings oh, I just oh I just love it so I've got um, smoky slate ink and I'm just going to stamp my um, snowman over here and then I've got my I love you and I'm going to mount it up and re ideally you'd use um, a smaller block than this one but this is well, the one I've got at the moment and I'm going to use my stamp and write markers I love these they're just amazing so this is the one in Night of Navy and I'm just going to stamp up um, colour it in if you hold the um, pen on its side and then just use it to just colour in the stamp like that. I'm doing that at this at a really, really awkward angle. And you don't need to worry about it drying or anything because if it does, you just need to, to huff on it and it will reactivate the ink. So to stamp that down there, and I'm going to stamp another one of those snowmen. And then I'm going to take my Christmas and I'm going to use, I'll just close this one back up again. I'm going to use um, my Garden Green Stampin' Right marker just to colour in um, the Christmas. And there we go. How cute is 
that it's just adorable so and then that will sit just lovely on the front of our pocket you can see there there's the top of our pocket because the the front of the pocket is three and a half by three and a half and this is three and a quarter by three and a quarter I'm really sorry if you can hear that noise in the background I've just realized that when I, while I did all that stamping I opened the door so Frida could the cat could come in and I haven't shut the door again so if you can hear my washing machine go round and round and round I do apologize so I'm going to use just a bit of snail today just for speed just to stick this on to the front you could also use wet glue or sticky strip or fast fuse and there we have our lovely little pocket which I just think is the cutest thing in the world and then I've also pre-done I've got one of these left to do actually I've got the fourth one but can you see I've, I've stamped each one of the numbers so there's one through to ten one, one to seven you know um, and some I've got gold in emboss heat embossing on and some I've I've um, coloured with my stamp and write markers and then they've got um, little Im um, images on the bottom so they might, some of them have some of them are blank some have snowmen there's a little polar bear and there's a little deer how sweet are they they're so cute so I'll get my uh, smoky slate pad back out again and this lovely snowman that is already on my block and I'm just going to stamp him at the bottom and then I've just realised I've put the, I've put it away. <laughs> well, number four, and these are these are tiny little polymer stamps. They are really, really little. And I'm going to do this one. I think am I doing cherry? Oh, I can't remember. I think I'm doing cherry cobbler, which is the same colour as the cardstock. And it's just a gorgeous Christmas red. It really is lovely. Just on the top of there. And then all of those slot together and slot in there. Isn't that the cutest thing? And I've got to say, so much better than that one. Don't buy that. Make your own. How cute. How sweet is that? That lovely gold embossing on. How lovely. Thanks for watching Stampin' by Hannah today. If you check the down bar below and all the metric measurements will be over there um, on the coordinating blog post. Go and check out my Facebook and like my Facebook group. Uh, thumbs up this video. Um, and really have a really, really good day. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.